I'm actually in Skyrim right now, but what I have to talk to you about is has nothing to do with uh, Skyrim. Uh, and uh, I apologize uh, in the sense that I know that people tune into my channel for games; they don't turn into my tune into my channel for opinions. Um, and so I do apologize, and feel free to click through to the next video if you want. Uh, but uh, I have to I have to say some a few things. Um, Every hundred years or so, in, in, in our part of the world, in, in Western civilization, um, there comes a, a time of trial in which we have to look at our demons and face them and either defeat them or uh, submit to them. Um, the last time this happened was in the 1930s in Europe, uh, Mussolini and, uh, and Hitler. Uh, and uh, we are seeing the same thing here, except it's not in Europe, it's in America. Um, so, but the difference between then and now is that now the, uh, the outcome is not, is not fixed. We still, we still can change it. In a lot of ways, our current situation is, is something that, that our politicians have, have brought upon us, um, through not doing their jobs, uh, through putting their own, you know, particular interests ahead of the common interest and ahead of the uh, interest of the people of the United States. You know, our leaders brought this on us, really, essentially. Uh, and so I can't blame anybody for being uh, upset with the corruption uh, that is in our government, because it is real. Um, that is no question. Um, and that, that is manifested this year uh, in uh, two campaigns. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, the campaign of um, uh, Bernie Sanders, who... Uh, uh, is trying to um, uh, fight the corruption directly, uh, and um, uh, the campaign of of um, Donald Trump, who is basically just saying, "The hell with it all! Uh, I'm going to take it all over, pretty much." Uh, so, um, and in case you didn't know, I'm talking about the latter, Donald Trump. Um, the the kind of rhetoric he is going into is despicable. Um, beyond despicable. Talking about people's penis sizes. Uh, it's just reprehensible. Um, and yet he, he's able to fill stadiums full of people. And um, part of that is, you know, we have to acknowledge and we have, our, our leaders especially have to understand that the people are really upset about the current state of affairs. They're, they're extremely displeased with dysfunctional government, which is what we've been having for the last eight years at least. Um, not necessarily all Obama's fault. Certainly, the, the Congress has not been doing anything. Uh, so, um, so people are upset, and understandably so. Uh, but uh, whenever uh, trials come upon people, they can either sort of choose the down road, or they can choose the more uh, hope helpful uh, uh, alternative. Um, and uh, Trump has clearly clearly chosen the gutter route. Um, and he is a, a demagogue uh, and a, a, a dictator in waiting. Um, and it is up to this generation to stop him. Um, there comes that time in, in our civilization when people either have to grow up and put their big, big boy pants on and, and face down actual evil. I mean, usually when people talk about you know, things as a battle between good and evil, most of the time they're wrong. You know, usually it's really more shades of gray, uh, and uh, and th there's a degree to which you can see that in this. I mean, obviously people are rightly pissed off. There's no question they they are legitimately really pissed off, and they have some good cause to be. Um, but Trump is not the answer to that, uh, and uh, I really do believe this is a genuine case where there is a genuine uh, battle between good and evil going on. Uh, and Trump will lead us into darkness, the, the same darkness that Germany and Italy saw. Um, or we can stop him. Uh, and, you know, I, I once swore up and down, I would never vote for, vote for Hillary Clinton, ever. I mean, she was, she's a sellout, the whole work, you know. But what she's not is a fascist demagogue. Uh, and sometimes we have to, you know, put forward some, some trust and, and hope that somebody, at least to some degree, puts up, you know, lives up to their part of their uh, obligations. Uh, she, is, she is many things, um, but what she isn't is she isn't a monster. 
Um, neither is Bernie Sanders. Uh, so, and neither is Kasich. I mean, I, I, I would love to see Kasich get the Republican nomination, but it's just not possible. Um, so, this is where we're at. Uh, and the Republicans really, they, they were going right along with, with Trump. I mean, Cruz's uh, ideas uh, up to a f you know, month or so ago was to, to hug Trump tightly and hope that he, f he fucks himself. Well, that didn't happen. So, uh, and his cowardice wound up costing him and the, possibly the Republican Party a great deal. Um, there are some situations in life where there is a genuinely a battle between good and evil. And not often, not as often as people think there is, but sometimes that's the truth. Sometimes there is a genuinely a battle going on between good and evil. And, and, if, uh, and if we don't make sure that uh, good triumphs, and sometimes good is the, the path of, you know, compromise and, you know, accommodation. Um, uh, but uh, if we don't make sure that, that uh, good triumphs, then evil will. And we have a chance t in our generation to, to see that through one way or the other. Uh, so, that's how I feel about that. Again, I understand people don't tune into my channel for political opinion and if you want to skip past this go go right ahead um, but I'm reminded um, in uh, Lord of the Rings and and Tolkien was writing in the uh, in the shadow of uh, World War one uh, where he saw peop ordinary people farmers and you know butchers and stuff have to put on uniforms and go to war um, and uh, in the, but in the, in the movie version um, they're coming out of that um, uh, Mori, I think it is, that that big, ch uh, big chain of dwarven uh, caves, and they're crossing over that thin, little uh, bridge, uh, and uh, Gandalf says, "You will not pass." And that's what we have to say to the likes of Donald Trump: "You will not pass. This darkness will not prevail. You will go back into your box. You will go back into the darkness. And if we don't succeed at that, then." we're lost and, and and the world will be lost in a, a new darkness like like in Nazi Germany and you know like Mussolini so that's what i think um and so i will get you back to actual entertainment programming uh, right away okay thanks <laughs>